In July 2004, ABP smuggled a simulated weapon of mass destruction from Mexico along the river and into the United States. Border Watch Group out of Sierra Vista this week carried a fake weapon of mass destruction across the border illegally. The group called the American Border Patrol says they did it to test Homeland Security. Two men strapped on a backpack with the phony weapon inside and shot this amateur video of their exploits. ABP used scanner radios and infrared cameras to avoid Border Patrol agents. See here, on either side of the river where we're walking, there's the corridor, the riverbed. On either side, completely concealed from the eyes of whether it be the Border Patrol or their towers or anybody, really. In May of 2005, American Border Patrol once again repeated the smuggling of a simulated weapon of mass destruction up along the San Pedro River. This time the Border Patrol spotted the pair with its mobile infrared camera. Okay, um, apparently a, a, a Border Patrol uh, a scope truck picked us up and uh, so we dropped down in the river, but we were just up on the top of the bank. Now we're in the river, we're golden. That we just once you're down here, they can't get you. So we'll just continue north, a little slower and carefuler, so that we're not caught. But uh, we shouldn't have any problem. Anybody coming to this country can buy this kind of equipment over the counter anywhere in the world. So what we're only using, you can find all this information on what frequencies, to listen to everything like that. It's all on the internet. Our load vehicle successfully picked us up, and uh, we're at our safe house now. We're going to show you what's in the bag. Successfully brought in. And there it is. Show them what's inside the back box, Mike. You guys ready for this? Whole lot of foam rubber. Nothing. In fact, it's actually the case for our camera. <laughs> so. That's it. We've done it again. A video of this operation was presented to members of Congress. It was an embarrassment to the Border Patrol. Shortly after this embarrassing demonstration of national vulnerability, the government posted signs prohibiting nighttime use of the San Pedro River area, with or without simulated weapons of mass destruction. The sign is only in English. It is not known if any of the hundreds of illegal aliens caught using the river at night have been prosecuted.